Tony Licata. He has lost only one of his 50 fights. And we're ready to go with round number one. And there is an old man somewhere in Lutz, Florida, watching tonight's fight, Bill Gore, who is Tony Licata's original trainer. And he's watching tonight. Bill, your man Tony Licata is in there against the best. The very best of luck to him and to you, Bill Gore. Tony Licata, his best punch is his left hand. His best punch is a jab. He can box. He's got a good chin. This is the book on him. Carlos Monzon, there is nothing that I can tell you that would be a weakness for this man. He is a complete fighter, a perfectly complete fighter. And he is now showing that he is even a little more than that by complaining early in the round about a butt. He doesn't want uh, to suffer the same fate that his countryman, Victor Galinda, suffered in the first fight. And he's a little afraid of Tony using his head. Tony Licata in the black trunks with the white piping and uh, the champion Carlos Monzon black with red. That's Monzon. If you have a black and white screen, Monzon is the man with the striped socks. The referee is Tony Perez. Monzon just taking, taking his time. He's waiting. He's waiting for Licata to make the big mistake of rushing in on him. Licata, the left side of his nose is a little bit red. Licata is a little bit tight, and it could be expected of a 23-year-old fighting in Madison Square Garden for the first time and fighting the great Carlos Monzon for the world middleweight title. We're in round number one, and two minutes have gone by. They say that Monzon is fighting on 33-year-old legs and that uh, he could go at any time. And it's always the one fight where he shows up. Could it be this fight or will it be this fight? Only time will tell. Tony Licata, young, 23 years old. Still on the upgrade. Hasn't reached his top level yet, the experts say. Trying to do it tonight against the best. Undefeated in 11 years, 78 in a row. Carlos Monzon. Monzon trained very hard for this fight here in New York. Had trouble getting sparring partners. Nobody wanted to work with him. Everybody said he hits too hard and they don't need it for the kind of money they get as a sparring partner. Good right hand by Monzon. The round is almost over, round number one. Monzon is a methodical fighter. That's the end of round number one. And let's follow the champion over to his corner. As I started to say, he's a methodical fighter. There have been many, many cases where he has spotted his opponent four rounds, five rounds, whatever, and then he went to work on him. The case in point would be Jose Napoli's not long ago, last year. Uh, for the first four or uh, five rounds, it was all Jose Napoli's, the welterweight champion who was trying to take Monzon's middleweight title. And Monzon spotted him the first four or five rounds, and then he really took him apart. It was no fight after that. Monzon, a real technician. Uh, notice that he is not sitting on a stool. He prefers to stand. If the if pace gets a little tired, you can bet your life he will a little bit later. But he's a real technician. He's a master boxer. He can punch. He can push you away with either either hand. He punches as good with the right hand as he does with the left. And he seems completely unconcerned. He's got the uh, he's got the manner of a champion. He's got all the mannerisms. He's got the uh, the aloofness of one. And let's see if he can keep it all the way through this fight or uh, whether he will spoil the dream of Tony Licata. We're in round number two for the world middleweight title. Carlos Monzon, he is on the far side with the striped socks, and that's Tony Licata in the black trucks with the white piping. Tony Licata, 23 years old, going to have to move in this fight because Monzon hasn't turned it on yet. He's just looking Licata over as much as to say, come on, young fella, let's see what you've got. I'll take a few samples, and then we'll go to work.
during his sparring sessions in the gym here in New York while he was training for the fight, I noticed that uh, Monzon did miss with his right hand quite a bit. He just threw a long right hand that went over the head of Tony Licata. And if he's depending on that right hand tonight, he better be a lot more sharp with it than he was in his sparring sessions while he was training. We're in round number two, and we're at Madison Square Garden, and this is John Condon with you. This is the second of two world title fights out of the garden tonight. Coming up, you know what, from Kuala Lumpur. Muhammad Ali and Joe Bunker, the world heavyweight title. Monzon, very, very aloof. Just walks in, throws half-speed punches. Trying to sucker Lakata into throwing a punch. Lakata is well-schooled. He's got a good manager. He's got a very smart manager, Lou Viscusi. He's had three world champions. Willie Pep was one of them. And he's got Eddie Fudge in his corner, who is the manager and trainer of Joe Fraser, the former world heavyweight champion. Willie Pep and Eddie Futch and Lou Viscusi in the corner of uh, Tony Lakata. Whether they can help him win this fight or not remains to be seen. Of course, when the bell rings, they pat him on the butt. He walks out to the middle of the ring, and the three of them sit down and watch. Lakata caught a left hand. He caught a left hand. He started to throw his right hand, and it hurt him a little bit. It hurt him, and Monzon knows it. Monzon knows it. He caught Lakata with a left hand. He hurt him. Monzon caught him with a left hand. And Lakata's going to have to move out of there because this is a real smart champion. He's going to take advantage of everything. Lakata had better get on a bicycle right now to stay out of trouble. He is hurt, and he's flat-footed, and he's walking around the ring, and the left hook is the punch that did it. He threw a punch, it landed, and he fell down, and that's the end of the round, the end of round number two. The left hook that Lakata threw just at the end of the round just grazed off the chin, I thought, of uh, Carlos Monzon, and the momentum carried him through. He fell down. It did not bother Monzon at all. Monzon went down, or rather, Licata uh, went down after he threw the left hook from momentum. The force of the blow did not have any effect whatever on Carlos Monzon, who was standing in his corner. Licata was in trouble early in the round from the left hook. Carter was a little confused. Here comes the left hook. There it is. I just gl glanced or grazed the chin of Monzon, and the momentum, as I say, carried him through. He went down, and the round ended right there. We're getting ready right now for round number three. Licata was in trouble in that round from the left hook. Monzon knows what he can do now. Monzon is a smart champion, as we said. He probably has Lakata figured that out now. He probably figures that he might be able to do it with the left hand. He is trying to sucker Lakata into coming in, coming at him. And if he does, he's going to try to catch him. Monzon is very worried about that butt. He holds his head back, and when they get inside, he just throws his head right up to the sky and tries to keep his head away, his chin or his eyes away from the head of Tony Lakata. We're in round three. Tony Lakata stung. In the second round, hurt. Monzon looking for the opening. Methodical fighter, as I told you, slips half speed punches into the midsection. He's throwing half speed punches. The left hook that he threw was a full force punch, and he did some damage with it. Tried to follow it up, but Lakata got out of trouble. Apparently, they've told Lakata to move. Now, use up the ring, and Monzon says, Come on and fight. Lakata says, come and get me, or Monzon says, come and get me, but Lakata is not about to do that. Monzon is putting on a little bit of a show now. It is not going to bother Lakata, I'm sure. He is not going to do what Mr. Monzon wants him to do. Monzon wants him to take the lead. He wants him to move in. He wants to catch him coming in. moving from side to side. A flurry by Monzon. Good, his punches are landing. 
They're not full force punches, but they're landing. He's opening up a little bit more now than he did in the first two rounds. Akata strictly a boxer. Monzon a puncher and a boxer. He can do both. Round number three. Monzon with his back to us. That's Lakata on the left. Ten years difference in age. Monzon 33, Lakata 23. Monzon an excellent athlete. 78 in a row. He's working on a 79th. Undefeated in 11 years. The champion, the middleweight champion of the world. Fighting a young 23-year-old. And they're booing. I think they're booing Lakata because I think some of the people here think that Lakata is trying to deliberately fight Monzon. And the catbirds let out, and Monzon ducks away from two left hooks by Lakata. Round three is all over. There's Monzon, the champion. Now he sits down for the first time in the fight. Carlos Monzon, his record is 83 wins, three losses, and nine draws. He has never been knocked out. He's had three losses. He has scored 59 knockouts. As I told you before, he is undefeated in 78 fights. 11 years he has been undefeated. On the far side, I just spotted Monzon's wife. She is standing up in the corner looking over at him, trying to look or show some sign of encouragement or give him some kind of a signal, a red-headed beauty over on the far side. She's sitting in uh, Lakata's corner, however. I don't know how that happened. Here's Monzon on his fight. All right, now let's watch the heads on this one. There it is. There's the, there's the thing that the crowd started to boo about. It was a butt there, but it was as much a butt by Monzon as it was Lakata. Here we go with round number four. Uh, Lakata has a little bit of a mark on the left side on the corner of his left eye. A little bit of a mark. I don't see a cut, but it's a little red there. Monzon's wife is here. She's a movie actress in Argentina. Professionally, she's known as Susana Jimenez. Jimenez. Round number four, Madison Square Garden. The world middleweight title. Carlos Monzon, the champion, in the striped socks against Tony Lakata with the black trunks and white piping. Lakata is not punching when he moves inside. And from outside, he is vulnerable. The best fight he can fight is to move inside and try to stay away from the long-range punches of the champion, Monzon. His best fight is while his opponent is outside. He's got long arms, he's got a good reach. This is what I mean. He can throw to the body and to the head from outside. Inside, those punches go over the head or they become moving punches that do not do much damage. Outside, he is very, very vulnerable. Tony Licata is, at least, and Mr. Monzon is very potent. The best fight that Lakata could fight would be to stick his head on Monzon's chest and punch from inside. But he's fighting from outside, and it's not the kind of fight that he should fight. And Lakata is taking them now. He's taking some pretty good punches from Monzon. as a left hook, a real good left hook, and it's a good thing that Lakata has a good shin. They said he has, and he just proved that he has. From outside, it's Monzon having things pretty much his own way now. Monzon said, within five rounds, he'll do it. No more than five rounds will the fight last, according to Carlos Monzon. Round four, about two and a half minutes gone. Monzon is throwing half-speed punches yet. He's trying to, trying to let uh, uh, Lakata get a little confident, and when he comes in, he catches him. 
He's doing a pretty good job. Monzon is. He's doing a real workmanlike job on the potter now. Potter comes in with a long left hand and finds the mark. Didn't do much damage at all to Monzon. Potter is tired, and the way he's throwing his punches now, his body is very tired. That's the end of round four. And I think that Monzon's prediction could stand up. Potter goes to his corner very tired. There is the champion, Monzon. Take a little bit more of the action in that round. Takata missed with a left hand, and from inside, on zone, two right hands. Lakata's just trying to get out of trouble now. Monzon is throwing punches and punches, and Lakata is trying to stay out of trouble, and he's very wild with his own punches. Instead of covering up with his hands in front of him, he's just ducking his head and trying to weather the storm. He took a pretty good lacing in that round. We're coming up now with the round that uh, uh, Carlos Monzon said. There is uh, Susanna Jimenez. And she's sitting, there she is, a beauty. She's the modern day Rita Hayward. That's what I would call her. A beauty from Argentina. Okay, the real attraction here tonight is right there in the center of the ring. Carlos Monzon defending his title against Tony Licata and he says he will do it in five rounds. This is round number five. Let's see how good he is. There's another guy who predicts rounds, and he's pretty good at it. He's sitting somewhere in Malaysia right now, watching this. And Monzon is taking a little line out of his book. Muhammad Ali. Okay. Tony is trying to get a right hand across on Monzon. He's slow with it, and there's no way that he's going to get that across at the speed that he's throwing it. No way. And from out there, as I said, he is a very, very vulnerable fighter. If he can fight inside, that's where his fight should be. Carlos Monzon, the champion. A long right hand by Lakata. Just grazed the chest of the champion. Those punches are landing. It's grazed the right hand, grazed off the top of the head of Lakata. There's another right hand on the left hand. And now he's throwing real good punches. Now Lakata is getting all of them. He's catching all of them at the moment, and he's missing with his own. He is not covering up his body. He does not have his hands in front of him. He is wide open for any kind of a punch that Monzon will throw. Right hands, left hands, it doesn't make any difference. Monzon is landing with every one of them. And referee Tony Perez is taking a good look at Tony Licata at the moment. He's taking a lot of punishment. Those long punches are finding the mark. Monzon has everything his own way at the moment. Monzon caught it, tied him up from inside, came right back, it had no effect on Monzon apparently. Somebody behind me is yelling for Tony to keep moving and that's the best advice he could get. There's another right hand by Monzon and anybody who told us that Licata had a good chin told us the truth because he certainly has. He's caught a lot of good right hands and he's catching all kinds of punches to the body and to the head and he's weathering them all. He is a tired young man. We have two and a half minutes gone in round number five. We have about 30 seconds left for Monzon to keep his promise of a five-round knockout. Can he do it? Or... <laughs> Couldn't hit him that way. <laughs> Look who's behind me. The round is almost over. Monzon said in five rounds, it doesn't look that way. That's the end of round number five. Monzon does not keep his prediction. I would have to say that the right hand, he got a couple of right hands in. The right hand that Licata got in were two good right hands. They're probably the best round of the fight for Licata was that round. Tony Licata. His wife is not in the audience. His wife is at a hotel here in uh, Manhattan. She doesn't come to his fights. She's a very religious young lady. So is Tony, for that matter. Her name is Ramona. They call her Mona. A very beautiful young Mexican-Irish gal. And she is now 
praying for Tony in her hotel room. When the fight is over, Tony's father, Phil, will call her and give her the result. But the first thing she'll want to know is Tony all right. And right after that, she wants to know uh, who won the fight. Ramona Licata. Not at the fight, but rooting for her match. Round number six coming up. That's Carlos Monzon in the red in the black trunks with the red piping and Tony Licata in the black with the white piping. Round number six. Tony Perez is the referee. And Licata seems to have uh, gotten a little bit of steam somewhere. He was pretty good in that last round. Now he comes out with a pretty good start in the sixth round here at Madison Square Garden. has got to use up that ring he's got to move and he's got to move from side to side not straight back moving straight back is how he'll get caught he's got to move when he comes out from a clinch like this he's got to move to the side and not straight back use up the ring box him that's what he can do he is not a puncher he's got the best left hand in the ring perhaps but that's the only punch he has Monzon can hit you with either hand he could knock you out with either hand and he is a very good boxer also Lakata can win only on his boxing ability. Monzon can win by a knockout or by outboxing. Lakata's timing is better now than it was in the early rounds. He might have settled down. He might have had a little bit of a garden artist, as they call it. He seems to be a lot more cool than he was in the earlier rounds. He seems to be able to do some things that he wants to do at least. He's got his hands up in front of him before when he was getting peppered with blows. His hands were at his side. Now he's doing what we thought he should do in the earlier round. Getting inside and punching. Punch, get inside and keep punching. Out there, you're in trouble, Tony. If you're out there, if you stay out there, you're going to have to move. Stay in there and punch. Your hands are free, you should be punching. very smooth operator Carlos Monzon he misses with a punch Lakata lunges at him and he's going to lunge at him maybe once too often because he's wide open when he lunges he tries to get that left hand across but the right hand is down around his knees and he's wide open on the left side he drops his hands and he gets caught while his hands are up there he's okay round number six is almost over Lakata doing a lot better now than he did in the earlier rounds. Only seconds remain in round number six. Missing. Monson is missing. And that's, that's the end of round number six. And now Lakata is doing exactly what he should have been doing in the earlier rounds. He's moving from side to side. He's getting inside where... Monzon's punches are not as potent as they were from the outside or are from the outside. And you can tell by the look on uh, Lakata's face, he's a lot more confident now than he was earlier in the fight. There he is. There's That's the champion. There's Susana Jimenez, the movie actress from Argentina. There she is. Now somebody blocks her. There she is. She's looking at her man. She's looking across the ring. She's on the far side, but he doesn't see her. Uh, she's yelling something to him now, which means in our language, come on, Carlos, baby. Do the trick. Here we go. Round number seven. Here we go, round number seven, Carlos Monzon, black trunks with the red stripe, and Tony Licata, black trunks with the white stripe. The seventh round, and Licata came to life in the last two rounds. He's doing exactly what he should do, move from side to side, get inside and punch from inside, and if you're going to stay out there, Tony, keep moving. Keep your hands up in front of you, and move. Tony is trying to reach Monzon with that left hand with the jab. 
as I told you, the left hand is the best weapon that Tony Licata has. Round seven. Carlos Monzon, 78 in a row, looking to win a 79th in a row. Hasn't lost a fight in 11 years. Only Ray Robinson can beat a record like that. He won 95 in a row. He's here tonight, by the way. Monzon, methodical, waiting. He's waiting for Licata to make a mistake. Licata's young, 23 years old, fighting in a big arena, Madison Square Garden, for the first time in his life, fighting him who could be the best fighter, inch for inch, in the world today. If he makes that mistake, you can bet that Monzon would capitalize on it. He made it. He missed, and he caught a right hand. He's making mistakes along the way, but he's a gallant and a game warrior, Tony Licata. He took some real good punches from Monzon, and a guy with a weaker chin might have been out of there by now. Don't stand there, Tony. Get out of there. That's it. Oh, side to side. Monzon is fighting like he's fighting out of a book. Left hand, right hand, punches to the body, waiting for his opponent to make a mistake. Very, very methodical. He's fought some real tough wars. Emil Griffith, two of them. Good right hand. A real good right hand by Tony Licata. Found the mark. Took Monzon for just a second. No apparent damage, no apparent effect. From inside, Monzon is working real well, and he's doing it because Tony is not punching back inside. He is open, his body is open, and Monzon is capitalizing on it. These are the mistakes that Tony Licata, the young 23-year-old challenger, is making. Backing straight away with his hands down is another. That's the end of round number seven. There's Monzon, completely relaxed, completely aloof. And now we're taking a look at Tony Licata. There's Tony. A little concerned, that's that he punched in front of him with the swab in his, uh, in his mouth. Still present. On the right of the screen, that is Willie Pep, the former featherweight champion, talking to him. Eddie Futch, the only man working on him. Every man in the corner has a job. Now watch Tony Licata. Tony Licata lands a pretty good right hand in this round. Here it comes. He tried to set him up with the left. A real good shot. Now look. Monzo took the punch and came right back. His right hand was coming in after the punch. So it didn't have any great effect on Carlos Monzon. There's Tony Licata fighting a lot better fight than he did in the early rounds. Here we come with round number eight. Tony Licata, black first with the white stripes, and Carlos Monzon, black with the red. Monzon in the striped socks. We're in Madison Square Garden. This is John Condon, the second of two world title fights. In the first one, Victor Galindez defended his world light heavyweight title successfully against Jorge Ahamada, 15-round decision. We're in round number eight now, and Monzon, Carlos Monzon, the middleweight champion, has to be ahead on points in this one in round number eight. He said he would do it in five. He did not do it in five. We're in round number eight. Can Licata go to 15 rounds? It's going to be tough. Licata's doing very well at the moment, however. His punches do not have the force in them that Monzon's have. But he's landing punches. He's doing a lot better than he did in the earlier rounds. And he's scoring points. His left hand, he threw, threw three left hands, three hooks up to the side of the head in that last flurry. On zone, not, uh, not using those 33-year-old legs too much. Just walking around the ring, not dancing, not up on his toes. Just walking toward his opponent, and when he finds room, he, he lands blows. There he goes, right hand and then the left hand. When he sees an opening, he capitalizes on it. Body and head.
Right hand. A right hand by Tony Locata. A long right hand is right on the button of Carlos Monzon, the champion. Oddly enough, it's, it's uh, Locata who has landed that right hand, which was not supposed to be too much of a punch, but he's landed it uh, very successfully in the last three rounds. Again, he landed it. If it had any powder in it, Monzon might have be been out of there. He's landed about four or five good right hands on Monzon, but Monzon just shakes them off and comes back. Round number eight, a right hand, and Ricardo is down. Ricardo is down, we're looking right into his eyes. And the referee is up there. And the count is seven. The count is eight, he's on his feet, and he shakes his hand and said he's all right. There's about 30 seconds remaining in round number eight. And Monzon is trying to follow up. He's trying for the knockout. This is the eighth round. The round has only seconds remaining in it. Nakata is hurt. Remember the continuous count if he goes down and the bell rings. And Nakata is very hurt. He's very hurt. Monzon landing all kinds of punches. And that's the end of the round. I think, I think referee Tony Perez is about to jump in and stop it. I do not know. I'm trying to yell up at him. I think that referee Tony Perez was going to stop that fight, but I think the bell changed his mind. I'm not sure. I can't put myself inside the head of Tony Perez. If he had stopped it, nobody would have... Uh, well, nobody would have objected to it. Perhaps, perhaps Lakata's corner might have. However, he was taking punishment, a lot of punishment in that round. And he was getting punched at will. His hands were not up. Carlos Monzon was doing whatever he wanted to. He was landing any kind of a punch he wanted to. Tony Lakata was in trouble. There he is. He seems to be all right now. Eddie Bush working on him feverishly. We're coming up to round number nine. Monzon is already on his feet. And they're getting Licata ready to go, and here we go. Tony Licata in the black trunks with the white stripes. Carlos Monzon, black with the red. Round number nine. Here you go, Argentina, Argentina. That's the Argentine fans here yelling for their champion, Monzon. Licata, a gutsy young 23-year-old. He's taking a lot of punishment. A lot of fighters would have said, I had enough. Not Tony Licata. He's fighting a fight of his life here at Madison Square Garden, trying to win the world middleweight title from probably the greatest pound-for-pound fighter in the ring today. Undefeated in 11 years, looking for a 79th straight victory. Licata, very tired, very game, no cuts, good legs, this is where all the road work pays off, all the training, all the hard work in the gym, all the running on the road at 5 o'clock in the morning is paying off now for Licata. A well-conditioned fighter could not have taken this. On zone, right over our microphone right now, looking to find the right spot to land the right punch. That's what Monzon is doing at the moment. While with the right hand. He landed it, but there wasn't a lot of steam on it. Round number nine. Licata, a game warrior who thought that he'd last this long in this round after what he took in the last round. Two minutes down in the round. Now he's getting caught again. Monzon is going to work. Monzon is hitting him now with both hands. Licata comes back with the right hand. What a fighter this kid Licata is. He eats seven or eight punches by Monzon and comes back with a big right hand. Now he's taking him again. There were some great fighters in Madison Square Garden. Tony Licata is one of them. He's a game fighter, this kid. 23-year-old kid out of Tampa, Florida. In Tampa, you can be very proud of this young man. So can you people in New Orleans. Tony's hometown. He's taking punches. 
He can't seem to avoid at the moment. But look at it, he's, he's forcing the fight. He's forcing the fight. He's taking the punches and forcing the fight, and the round is almost over. Round number nine. Look at this kid, look at him. Look at him. A truly great fighter. Tony Lakata, that's the end of round number nine. I don't care what the margin is right now in Mon's own favor. Tony Lakata has to get down as one of the best fighters as a fighter ever in Madison Square Garden. We're gonna we're gonna show you some of the uh, some of the punishment that he took, that Tony Licata took in this round. Slow motion. No watch. Almost every punch lands by Fonzone. A right hand, a left hand, off balance, a right hand. Another one comes straight through. He side of the glove. He hasn't missed a blow yet. He hasn't missed with one. Licata trying to get out of trouble. That's the first one that Fonzone missed with, and he took a lot of punishment in that. Came back. Came back after that kind of punishment to land a good right hand of his own. We're coming to round number 10. Nobody, nobody two rounds ago figured that this round would go this far. Round number 10, Monzone, the champion. Greets him with a left hook. Tony Licata, black trunks with the white stripes. Round number 10, and look at this kid go. We ought to have a parade for Licata when he gets back to Tampa. I don't care. I don't care what the outcome of this fight is. He's a gutsy young man, and he deserves the title of a fighter. He, he deserves to have the name of a fighter. His father is here. His mother is here. His wife is back in the hotel praying for him. His brother is here, his sister is here. Nice, a nice uh, gesture on the part of the champion, Carlos Monzon. Licata slipped in Monzon's corner, and Monzon refused to take advantage of it. Nice gesture. There's the right hand again by Licata. This has been a su complete surprise, uh, everybody. I can tell you that. Nobody figured that Licata would throw that many right hands all night long. But he's thrown them, and not only thrown them, he's landed with them. Monzone is very aloof, as I said, very relaxed. He's saying, let's keep going there, Tony, and sort of later, I'm going to get you. We're in round number 10, about a minute and a half gone in the round. Monzone, left hook. Licata is rubbing his right eye as if uh, it's cut. It doesn't There's the right hand. Licata is down. A full force right hand. He caught the end of it. Licata is hurt. He's up at the count of five. It's seven. Eight. He's taking the eight count, and he is very hurt. We have a, less than a minute to go in the round, but Licata is in very bad shape. Licata is hurt. Monzon is going to go to work on him now. He's just going to wait for the right time. He's not missing many punches. He's waiting to get the right one across. Licata is straight up. He is very, very vulnerable at the moment. Monzon can almost pick his spot right now. Monzon, a cool, cool champion. Just waiting for the right time. Licata's hands are down. His hands are down, and if they st stop it now, there is no objection. That's a good move. That is an excellent move on the part of Tony Perez. An excellent move, and nobody in Licata's corner is complaining about it. Nobody. Somebody threw a tennis ball into the ring. Nobody in Licata's corner. There he is. A gutsy young kid from Tampa, Florida. Tony Licata. And I, we're going to see more of that young man. He's going to be around for quite some time. He lost tonight, but he lost to probably the greatest fighter two minutes, in the ring today. Seconds of the tenth round. Two minutes, the winner 43 and still seconds middleweight champion of the, of the world, round. The winner and still Carlos champion, Monzo. Carlos Monson.